What's up, fool? What's up, fool? Podcast. Happy <laughs> holidays. Happy <laughs> holidays, people. Happy Thanksgiving. Hell yeah. Martin, man, have you ever had a Thanksgiving at your house where you fucking took out with a cousin and got a little court and didn't come back and <laughs> cast a cousin this mother day? Or, or you were gone for Thanksgiving? No, dude. But my mom's, uh, but my mom's fucking uh, godson, when we, I was a little chavalito. <laughs> But yeah, she was, well, she was his, his <laughs> Nina, bro. This motherfucker me. got annihilated, bro. Coked out. Holy fucking fuck. Oh, he was in his 20s. And he <laughs> stole the turkey, bro. He stole the turkey. <laughs> and the, I guess he got hungry or some shit, bro. He stole the fucking turkey with the whole fucking thing that you cook it in, bro. The the, the whole bahia, the, right? The roasting pan. Yeah, yeah, the roasting pan. My mom was, was like, she's like, what the fuck? Forget, bro, he stole even, the fucking power. You're bro, lying, bro. bro. Not only that, bro. He even took the fucking... Um, those mittens, bro, to hold it. To hold it. <laughs> and we woke up with no leftovers, bro. That was the, the first mitt. time. Oven mitts, bro. Yeah, so that fucking. So who, who are you guys doing when nobody paid attention to that turkey? He came bro? at night, bro. When everybody was, was asleep, nobody. bro. What are you guys cooking? What are you guys asleep? asleep? What? Put it in there. We're gonna go to sleep. We'll woke up in the morning. God, that there was no were more they fucking cooked? turkey. Were they bro. cooked or not cooked? Oh, it was cooked. It was ready. It was all the leftovers. It was like oh, the end of the night. I thought oh, that who came. No, no, no. I thought that came in when you were watching football. No, no, no. Everything that was left. You were watching the Twilight Zone. Yeah, we weren't watching no football. We were watching something Spanish. It was like the dog in the Christmas story. No, homie. Yeah, so it was the end of the night, and this motherfucker took all the leftovers, bro. He the whole Dude. thing with and never brought the bahia bro. He's like, oh Nina, I'm gonna buy you a whole dish set. Oh, those are words dish. of a drug addict never, right there, dog. Yeah, bro. So he was a crazy motherfucker. He had a van. He got in trouble one time because he was chasing a <laughs> fucking a ambulance, bro. Like he was on the freeway and the ambulance was going and he fucking got behind it. I'm helping him. Bro, he's, you know, motherfuckers were crazy in the fucking seven. Where's he at I mean, now, dog? Getting savvy, bro. I haven't heard from him in years. Are man. you serious? Yeah, you know, it's a fucking you lose track of the fucking paisas. But um <laughs> I don't know when the like I, I've gotten fucked up for Thanksgiving, of course. You never like, you never like, got mad at your house and just flipped everything over. No, bro. Not that little like white that. boy in that flipped video, dog. <laughs> no, did you? Hell yeah! It sounds like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds well, like yeah, you want bro. somebody to back you up and be like, yeah, hey, me too. Yeah, we all flip things over <laughs> on Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking for like fucking validation. What the hell? <laughs> just bagging on what, each what, other. Were you voted or no? What time? I'm, 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 I, I said that last year, bro. But I think I just I can say this. I, I can say this time without stuttering and crying. <laughs> 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 Bro, in third grade or fourth, third grade, we oh, made all God. like for Thanksgiving, you know, we, we made turkeys and we like, I don't know, whatever, right? But we made um little cute little um, centerpiece or placemats. No, tablecloth, oh, table, table mat, so, yeah. table mats, table yeah. mats, right? Placemats, placemats, Place yeah. So full. I made one, bro. We all made one. We never ate it. Place mats ever, bro. We never put no, we never ate forks. Our forks never came together, you know, they just threw it at you. We never had like a napkin. You didn't have a setting, like we a never table had setting. Set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I brought the fucking apron, and then I, I told him we're about to eat. I said, "Well, hold on, I gotta get something." And I went to get my placemat. My dad ripped it, dog. Oh, he yeah. ripped it in pieces. Why? Just to be a dick. That's a dick. Like, don't be bringing trash to the table. Like, he didn't know what it was. Yeah, he, thought, he didn't know. He what thought it was. we were coloring, bro. He didn't give me a chance, bro. I'm gonna present it to everybody. How old were you? Bro, third grade, though. I would have killed that motherfucker. That's traumatic, mother. bro. Yeah. I never yeah. forgot that shit. That's dog. traumatic, homie. So I was there, like, eating, they're crying, bro, and everybody laughing. God damn. They were laughing. Sorry, though. Sorry, homie. <laughs> And then you flip shit over? <laughs> nah, bro. Just hold it in, bro. And then later on, you flip <laughs> Ten shit years over. later. Remember <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> when you ripped my mouth, you cocksucker? Fucking <laughs> uh, <laughs> dad walking around, around the neighborhood with a black eye. What happened? He finally hit me. <laughs> Batman came alive. He's like, he's like what place, man? <laughs> you don't even remember, Hobo. I was no, losing. You that, that's your the world, crazy dog. thing. That's the crazy but, thing. But, but, that, but it was crazy, though, that, that, that I was angry. And then my dad was like, you're mad? Better not cry. So I'm like, oh, that's the worst. And then, then, like, then my brother, her laughing, bro, like going like this, pointing. Oh I want to go and kill them, bro. Break those fingers, dog. <laughs> then my brother going like this. Oh, my brother, angel. Oh, my oh, God. That fool. Dude. That, you know what? Parents do some evil shit to you, dude. My dad used to be a dick. But no, 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 not a to dick. defend your dad, but dude, like, no, no, they no, don't really know. There's no defending. They don't know about all that shit. And you know what I mean? It's not nah, like, man. like, you know what I mean? But I he still. He was a manipulative alcoholic. But I can say, too, though, <laughs> if Felipe's going to bring his placemat, none of the kids had a placemat, so they don't fucking get that over bro, with. But no, who this, the fuck knows? This dog? is how fucked up my I dad for everybody. Dad. This is how fucking. <laughs> how, be cool, dog. How fucking twisted my dad's head was, Tell right? He'd get wasted, bro, and he'd be like, okay. Yeah, me boy. 
Fuck. Me, me voy a matar. What the uh, dude, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna kill myself. Yeah, I'm gonna kill myself, right? And then me yeah. and my sister would start crying. They're like, gonna start playing. No, don't go, don't go. And we'd be holding his leg, right? And he'd be dragging us, bro. And he's fucking walking out the door, wasted, bro. Me voy a matar. Whoa. Aquí nadie me hace caso. God uh, damn, like, dog. Like, guy from Atlanta, say, I'm gonna draw that tonight. <laughs> Talk Mario, to him, Mario, Bro, and so he'd leave, bro, <laughs> and me and my sister would be like right How there crying. You, like, oh, bro, little homie, like in fucking first grade, second grade, some Total same like, size, huh? Little, like, like, okay, because then by, by the time we got older, what? <laughs> I just caught that. Eh? He called me Tony back then, eh? Ah, little Tony, big Tony. I was Tony. very tonacious. <laughs> <laughs> Roman desk. Hey, bro, uh, uh, what kind of kid were you though at that time? You like you're happy, right? I'm just. Leaving. I was. I was. A, I was a. You know the little kid. Very, very in like. Uh, Into the I arts. Was awkwardly social, bro. Like when growing oh. up, growing up, like mm -hmm. as a little kid, you gotta figure. My my parents were immigrants. They never. My my mom never left the house. That was what I do. They just fucking work hard, hard, get hard. paid. Worked his ass, she, drank huh. his ass off, <laughs> drank his ass off. Uh, it, like literally every day, drank and got up, no hangovers. Uh, oh, my every mother, day, huh? every day. My my mom was. She didn't speak English whatsoever. She was illegal for many many years, so she wouldn't want to leave the house. Uh, so there was a lot of like uh, a lot of fear in the in the home type of a thing. Mm -hmm. Like I know no has mucho ruido. Don't do this. Don't, make noise. House, don't do this. Don't do that. And so when and like so when we we must have been little because he kept pulling that same stunt of I'm gonna every, kill every myself, year? bro. Well, he just got, said that, but didn't he, he want to kill himself? No, right? bro. And then one day, like eventually, Fucked it was up. like eventually, dude, it got to the point where you're like, you know what, fuck it, eh? go kill yourself, fucker. How old were you then? Uh, by that time, I was like already like in fucking sixth grade, fifth grade. By that time, <laughs> oh, I was shit, like over it. Bro, I was Listen over. to Slayer and yeah, shit, I was huh? Done, bro. I was done with this <laughs> motherfucker. Your mom never said, "Your mother te pues." Oh, dude, my mom would be like, "No se va a matar nada." No, he's just lying. <laughs> she man. knew he was he, full of shit. He was full of shit, bro. He's, he's a performer. This motherfucker, bro. One day he left, right? Oh and when he came back, I'm like, "Hey, man, thought you were gonna kill yourself." And he goes, "Esto es lo que pasó. This is what happened." Me aventé en el freeway. <laughs> like, I threw myself He's already the lying freeway. to your ass, though? Bro, he said he threw himself over in the freeway, and all the cars, none, he goes, one car stopped, and he grabbed me, and he said, what are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? And I told him, me estoy matando. And then they said, ¿Qué? no, tienes hijos? Yeah, I have kids. I have a wife. And they told me, go home. Go home to your wife and kids. And I'm looking at him, motherfucker, nobody stops on the freeway, bro. You jump <laughs> on the freeway, you're going to be fucking toast, you motherfucker. <laughs> you know, they told like, him, so come back tomorrow and try. Yeah, oh, bro, it was like, by that time, after that, he realized, oh, this shit ain't working no more. But when he was, I don't know what it was, bro, I guess. Did he have a traumatic childhood and oh, shit? Oh, dude, he did, bro. My dad, um, he was born with polio in 1931. And to a family of like 16 kids. So they really, they thought this motherfucker ain't gonna make it. They literally put him out in the barn to die. And uh, mm -hmm. they were, dude, they're not gonna waste the food on this motherfucker. So what his his left, one of his legs, I don't know if it's right or the left, was literally leg? this this thin, was this thin. And, uh, and and was higher than the other than the other leg. And so they just put him out there pretty much to die. His older sister, uh, felt bad, the oldest one, she and like, she would sneak no. food into the uh, into the little where they kept the chickens or whatever the fuck it was. In the corral. Yeah, whatever the fuck. And she'd sneak food, the leftovers. She'd sneak them into this fucking runt, right? And the motherfucker survived. And they they'd look in and they'd be like, "He's still fucking alive. What the fuck?" But they didn't know that she was sneaking food to him. And then uh, he survived. I think his dad died when he was like seven years old. And so his older brothers would beat the fuck out of him. That was back in the day where you know there was it was Mexico. What bro. part of Mexico are they from? Uh, a small town in Sonora called Rayon and, Rayon and he left and he uh, they moved to Guaymas and I think when he was like maybe 12 or 13 he got into a shrimp boat and he started working on the boat and he took off he ran away and took off and was uh, like when people say were you raised by sailors he was literally raised by fucking sailors oh. you know his most formative years were with fucking sailors so yeah so that's a traumatic childhood I would say you know so I think when he like when he would provide a roof over our head and food 
I think he felt like, motherfuckers, you got way more than I had. What, what, what do you jealous. need? What do you want? What do you must get in, cabrones? Yeah, yeah. You, 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 I'm giving you all this. Like, I'm giving you all the tools to succeed. We landed in the hood. You know, he landed in the hood, but he had no idea that it was a hood. It was a hundred or a thousand times better than the place that he originally came from. So, yeah, it was fucking, he, he had a crazy goddamn childhood. That's brutal, man. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I don't mean to fucking bring down the goddamn conversation, no, eh? but yeah, the motherfucker uh, was raised by sailors. He was a fucking stone alcoholic. Papa, eh? 